Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. So today we're going to hopefully answer the question that has stumped scientists, that has baffled the experts here in the industry, and that is how in the world do you download your clips from Twitch on mobile? It's a big problem these these days, I swear. Like, I really do wish that in the mobile app, Twitch allowed you access to your clips to where you can download them directly from the mobile app. But if there's a way to do that, I haven't found it, and no one else I know happens to know how to do it from the Twitch app itself. So, Twitch, please allow that. That would be incredible. So, that way there, we don't have to jump through all these hoops I'm about to show you here. Okay, now, granted, folks, that what I'm about to show you all here is on an iPhone 13 Pro Max, so of course iOS, but if you're following along on Android, you can follow along if you want. Uh, there might be a very similar way to get the same effect here at the end that I'm doing again here on iOS. So hopefully this might work similarly for you on Android as well. So to do that, folks, it's not hard at all. Let's jump in Safari. I'll show you how it's done. All right, everybody. So first and foremost, again, you want to open up Safari and you want to go to twitch.tv as per usual. But one little thing here, though, is that you want to actually be able to sign in. So to do that, you want to click on the, the double A symbol here. Then you want to click on request desktop site. Then after that, log in like you normally would. If you have two-factor authorization, you'll have to give it uh, access to your account as well. So go ahead and do that. And then this is just like the you know the regular desktop website on a desktop computer, desktop browser. So go ahead and go to your creator dashboard. Top right of the website, go ahead and click your profile picture. Then you want to click on creator dashboard. On the upper left here now, you want to click on the hamburger menu, go down to content, and then click on clips. Go ahead and get rid of that hamburger menu now. And now I'm going to just pick a random clip to show you all how this here works, okay? I'm going to go ahead and pick this one here. Now, this next part you have to do kind of quick, okay? Or otherwise it will open up the video you're trying to download in a separate uh, uh, browser tab, okay? So you want to go ahead and you want to hit the share button. Then you want to click and hold down on the save icon and then you want to click on download linked file all right folks so real quick okay share long press download linked file and as you'll see here on the recording it is downloading directly to the iphone itself now after that's done you want to click the little download icon go ahead and click on downloads and it will take you to your downloads folder here now go ahead and click on the clip that you just downloaded and then what you want to do is you want to hit the share button and then you want to hit save to video or save video, save to album, whatever yours might happen to say, it's the same thing, okay? So just to verify that it did in fact save, I'm going to show you guys my pictures. Going to photos, yes, I save a lot of TikToks, don't judge me, I'm sorry. But as you can see here though, folks... The clip is right there with sound as well. And from there, you can go ahead and throw it into your mobile editor of choice. You could throw it up on TikTok, Instagram Wheels, uh, YouTube from your phone, whatever you want to do. So yeah, everybody, look, it's that simple on iOS. Again, if you're on Android, I do apologize. If I had an Android phone, I would try to figure out a way for you all out there as well. But again, hopefully this tutorial here for your Android users might point you in the, you know, in, in the right direction to be able to do something similar like to what I just did. But I if 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 it doesn't i apologize but again i don't have an android phone to test this out, out on for you all i'm so sorry but other than that though i hope this might have helped some of y'all out there i know that this was driving me nuts for months there's so many things i wanted to clip on twitch and i thought well wait a minute i can't get them on my phone without getting them on my computer first and then sending them to my phone that way like it was a it was a big hassle to try to do that and i would always just forget to so this way here i know i can gain access to to my clips on mobile and I can actually download them directly to my iPhone that way as well now. So mission accomplished everybody. I hope this helped y'all out out there. And if you have any questions, concerns, comments, do me a favor, sign up with the comments below and I will catch you guys and gals next time. Happy streaming.